This time I'm starting in this video, we are looking at cash flow. So first of all, let's look at what is cash flow. As essentially, cash flow is the money that comes in and goes out of a business. So you have cash inflows, which is the money into the business, and this can be generated through the sale of goods or services, money borrowed, or money earned through investments. Then you also have cash outflows, and that's money out of a business, and that covers the costs of expenses. So these cash inflows and outflows are classified into three sections. So first of all, you have operating activities, and this refers to cash flow generated through the business's main operations, such as where goods are sold or where services are provided. So by looking at the cash flow from operating activities, you can therefore see how well a company is doing from their core business activities. So a negative cash flow from operating activities is a bad thing because it shows that the company is losing money from its core business. Then you have investing activities. Now this displays how much money has been used in or generated from making investments during a specific time period. So investing activities will include purchases of long-term assets such as property or equipment, acquisitions of other businesses, and investment in marketable securities like stocks and bonds. You would expect the cash flow from investing activities to be negative, but it can be positive if a company is receiving cash from investments or selling their assets. Finally, you have financing activities. Cash flow from financing activities refers to how a business is funded. For example, a company can receive cash from issuing stock or issuing debt. On the other hand, a company may spend cash by paying down debt, paying cash dividends to shareholders, or buying back shares. So free cash flow is a very useful measure that does show the true profitability of the business. So free cash flow is measured by operating cash flow minus the capital expenditures. So capital expenditures is the money spent on longer term assets such as property or office equipment. Capital expenditures can be found on cash flow by investing activities. So this free cash flow can then be used how the company wants. For example, it can be used to pay off their debt, to pay dividends or to buy back shares. So this means that a positive free cash flow enables the company to do many things without having to take on extra debt. Now, if a company consistently has negative free cash flow, this means that they have to take on extra debt to pay things like dividends. So why is good cash flow important? Now, cash is vital to any business to ensure that necessary business expenses can be paid. So this means that a good cash flow results in a business being able to meet its financial obligations when required. So when analysing a company's cash flow, it's important to consider each of the various sections that contribute to the overall change in cash position. For example, a firm may have negative overall cash flow, but if the company is generating positive cash flow from its business operations, this may not be a bad thing. For example, the company may simply be making acquisitions, paying off its debt and buying back shares to help improve the company. Equally, a positive cash flow is not necessarily a good thing either, as it could be positive because the company is taking on unsustainable amounts of debt, whilst the operating cash flow may in fact be negative. So this is why you really have to analyse cash flow statements. So thanks for watching. If you click on my website link in the description, there is a link which will give you a free share of up to £100 if you follow the instructions. But thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.